Hello guys, in this video I want to talk about DM Brandon. And who was DM Brandon? DM Brandon was actually at one point one of the most popular content creator for Smite Battleground of the Gods. And we all know how popular it is to hate on somebody who is successful. It was literally a meme in the community to hate on DM Brandon. But some people took it way too far and some people used this, uh, this meme hate and uh, there was also an age where um, anti-harassment movements were very popular. So some people really used that to manipulate the community to, uh, and to destroy his career. Now, and this is what I want to talk about today. As a fellow smite, as a fellow content creator, as somebody who loves gaming and esports, and somebody who has been playing smite for more than ten years, I feel like this is one of the biggest tra tragedy of smite community itself, because people forget DM Brandon was actually one of the best players for smite conquest we ever had in the community. He was the biggest content creator. Uh, at some point, he, he, he made a lot of people careers, he was even a commentator, he was, um, he was even a commentator at Smite Pro League, and so on and so on. And, you know, when somebody is successful, people hate it, but a lot of people also wonder, you know, uh, you know, because, you know, sometimes he was a bit too much, you know, sometimes he was toxic in games, you know, well, it's a com competitive game after all, and nobody, at the end of the day, nobody really forced you to watch his stream, and a actually a lot of the content he made was actually really good, I still uh, watch his videos sometimes, you know, um, but it was also true, you know, he was very competitive player. And when you are very competitive, you have high standards, not just for yourself, but also for others. And when you play ranked, you expect other people to do their best, right? Uh, but, you know, there is a limit. Now, a lot of people wonder, you know, why so many people followed him, you know? Uh, was because he talked good, was because he was content creator? No, at the end of the day... What he was, was a good player. He was. He worked for years on himself to be the best. He was probably one of the best Conquest Dota player in Smite we ever had. He really understood meta, uh, how the game mode is designed and how to play properly, you know. Um, in Smite we have two main game modes, we have Arena and Conquest, even though Hyres has been balancing the whole game around Conquest for years now. They can't even give uh, ranked leaderboard rewards and tournaments for arena fans. Even though the game modes are actually very different, right? Uh, in my opinion, uh, we have two kinds of players. And I feel like Conquest is for those players who like to plan, uh, who like to, um, you know, theory craft, do rotations, play efficiently, fight, fight for objectives and map control. Meanwhile, arena is more about adopting... Uh, and um, more for, uh, for, for players who are more, uh, who like to react to things, okay? React to Nister, how to say it. Um, so Arena is more about adopting a reaction and Conquest is more about planning and uh, proper farming and rotations and so on and so on. Now, I don't really want to promote witch hunting, okay? But I also want to talk about DM Brandon and how they destroyed his career, okay? This was actually all happening when there was a very popular anti-harassment movement going on, you know. And we all know how easy it is to manipulate social media. We all know how, how hard it is to control information and misinformation on social media, right? The guy was literally married, right? And I think this is probably still after so many years, I still feel like Hires and people who caused this should apologize and unban him, okay? And now I'm going to give you a more depth what actually happened, okay? I'm not trying to promote witch hunting, but we should be talking about these things. Because as a fellow Smite content creator, as somebody who loves gaming, seeing how the community has destroyed his career and his love for the game, I don't forgive that, okay? People say he got banned because he was toxic. No, he didn't got banned for that. He got, he got banned because people made fake accusations about him. 
and all these accusations were actually started by the guy who was working for DM Brandom and then he got fired and then he made like five videos about him that all got like 200,000 views, right? Talking bad about DM Brandom. And on top of that, his girlfriend was my Olympian who made all these fake accusation stories about uh, uh, sexual accusations, right? And the guy was literally married, you know. Uh, it was my community, it was those who are supposed to bring community together that destroyed his career, right? And people don't really understand that it was a meme to hate on him because he was one of the biggest might content creators and he was very you know uh critique uh, he was criticizing he was often blaming blaming his team too you know but he was actually a really good player you know and i understand when you have high expectation when you, you work for years on yourself to be the best you also expect others to do the same and if you play rank on quest you have to do that then play go play casual or something right I feel like this was one of the biggest tra tragedies of Smite community and since uh, DM Brandom and since uh, guys like Elliot leave the community and since um, they mismanage the pro scene and the community I feel like the game has been just going downhill. There is no real fun competitive spirit anymore in the community, in fact a lot of guys just getting banned, you know. And uh, I feel like this was really unfair. It is funny because Brandon probably understood the game more seven years ago than most people understand today. And uh, and I also feel like this is what Smite community is missing. Uh, you know, Smite Pro League doesn't really have any commentators that actually criticize their players. They just talk about some random shit that nobody really cares about. There is no real criticism, there is no real expecta expectations anymore, you know. I mean, how can you have a proper scene when you literally handpick all your players and you didn't organize official online tournaments for Conquest and Arena in the last five years? There is no such thing as pro players in Smite community or League of Legends community. It's just a few percent people who got handpicked. They call themselves world champions when half of them barely know how to build. And this is the sad reality of esports. They even pay the massive salaries so they gatekeep everyone else, you know, then why would anybody play your game when we have no chance, when literally only those guys who use bots or those guys who get handpicked, only those guys can make anything out of it, you know. And it's the same as a content creator, you can just type smite into YouTube and it's only those guys who use bots or got handpicked for prolic, only those guys got any views, you know, so what's the point, you know. And what pisses me off the most is that his career was actually destroyed by the people who didn't probably didn't even play Smite that much, who never really loved the game like he does, like he did, right? And how can we trust a guy who was working for DM Brandom and then got fired? He made five videos about him, all got over 200,000 views, right? And then his girlfriend, his actual girlfriend was my Olympian who made those accusation stories, who started all this. They destroyed his career together. And they, in my eyes, they are not welcome back to the Smite community until they apologize and until uh, they unban him, right? Because you made him look all this bad guy, but he was, he was often giving love to the community in his videos. Just check his tier list, check his videos, you know. He was getting all the hate, right? All people give him his hate. So he was actually light for many of people, right? And this is what people don't realize when... Uh, sometimes you have to pay, take other people's darkness to be light. And this is what he does. And this is what we are also missing now. And uh, I think it was really unfair for the, from those two community members. And then on top of that, you know, social media is full of misinformation. Uh, Reddit is always full of downvoting and censoring uh, unpopular opinions, 
right? So you cannot control this information. And, uh, you know, he, he's probably doing good in life. But at the same time, somebody who really loathes might. I really understand how he feels, you know? And it's a shame, really. After so many years, I still feel like Harry should unban him and people who caused this should apologize to him, you know? But now, you know, what can you expect? Harris has no backbone. They got easily manipulated. And once the, you see, the big problem was also once the company bans him, they made it look like uh, everything, everything is already confirmed. This is the biggest problem. When they banned him, they made it look like the old accusations were actually true, which were never proven, which were all made up. And a lot of people who made those accusations had uh, bad intentions behind it, you know, and uh, I think that's unforgivable and it's one of the biggest tragedy of Smite community. I mean, there are so many tragedies in Smite community. Smite itself is a great game, but it probably has one of the worst management. Uh, you have no, no chance to be a content creator for Smite because only those guys who use bots or got handpicked for a prolix or this uh, content creator scap, only those guys can make anything out of Smite, you know, so... It feels like after 10 years, you know, we have to move on. The smite is pretty much done. Even if you look smite too, it's not even that much better. And they're not fixing actually the issues that actually matter. You know, ignoring 70% of their player base. No real community tournaments. No rank leaderboard rewards or arena fans. No old fun game what's in the match of the day rotation and so on and so on. And that guy I was talking about, who make five videos about him, he apparently deleted his videos. Or I'm unfollowing him, you know, I don't see them here anymore. Even though I know his name and I know uh, how his girlfriend name was. And that girl was even Smite Olympian. She was a community representative who was supposed to bring the community together. But she instead made those fake stories about him because his boyfriend was got fired from DM Brandon job. So how can once how can we actually trust uh, anything that those guys said, you know? So let me know what you guys think and see you in the next one. I'm really tired now. Rank one, at least I'm rank one somewhere, guys. All right, now let's play some arena. Hello, guys. <laughs> Hello guys. Hello guys. Hello guys and welcome. Today we're gonna talk about DM Brandon. Hello guys and welcome. Today we are gonna talk about DM Brandon. Who was DM Brandon and uh, why, are, why is there a need to talk about him? Now DM Brandon was at one point the biggest content creator for Smite, Battleground of the Gods. And um, today I want to talk about a bit... Uh, people forget that DM Brandon was not one of the most popular content creators, but also probably one of the best Smite Conquest players we ever had. You see... <sighs> Hello guys and welcome today. 
Hello guys and welcome. Today we are gonna talk about DM Brandon. And who was DM Brandon? 